In this particular example, notice that we're talking about angles of tangent and secant lines, right? So we have a secant line right here that goes across the circle, and we have a tangent line that runs here. In other words, line AC. And notice that the problem actually tells us that AC is tangent to E, and that the measure of the arc AB is 85 degrees. So from this portion of the circle, going all the way around to B, that arc, AB, this minor arc, is 85 degrees. Now it wants us to find the measure of angle BAC. In other words, the measure of the angle that's created by the secant line that intersects the tangent line. So we want to find this whole angle. Now in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write this out. I'm going to say the measure of angle BAC, right? So from here to here to here. So this angle right here is going to be equal to one half the arc AB. So if I go ahead and I substitute what we know to find the measure of this angle. So for instance, um, this one half, that's a number, it's not going to change, it's a constant. And then this arc AB, that inscribed arc, the value of it is 85 degrees. So I'm actually going to put here in parentheses 85. And now we're just going to go ahead and put this in a calculator and see what it gives us. And whatever it gives us is going to be the measure of angle BAC. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and enter this into the calculator. So I'm going to do alpha y equals enter, and it's going to give me 1 over 2. And then I'm going to multiply that to 85. Now, I am going to put a decimal in it after the 85 to make sure that it converts this to a decimal answer. Um, if you didn't put a decimal in there, let me show you what would happen. And, uh, and that's because I didn't want to get a fraction as an answer. So if I would have just put in there 85 and hit enter, it would have given me this fraction right here. But if you put a decimal after your whole number, the one that you're multiplying to, it'll automatically convert it to a decimal for you. And so it's 42.5 degrees. So I can say that the measure of angle BAC is equal to 42.5 degrees. So basically when you have a problem like this, you're just going to divide this angle right here of the inscribed arc, its measure, by 2. And that's going to give you the answer, right? Because dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. And that's all there is to it.